York Institute of Technology, New York Tech, or we're calling it now, we're calling it now Tech for short. What better place to open New the New York City Creative Tech Week than at New York Tech? We're right here in the heart of Manhattan, or we could be at our magnificent Old Westbury campus located at a former Cornelius Vanderbilt Whitney estate. Wherever we are at NYIT, our vision is to constantly push the envelope and merge humanism as tech and tech, right? Just as we're doing today. We're proud to partner with Creative Tech Week, and I would like to start by thanking Isabel Draves again, the New York City Creative Tech leader par excellence and our distinguished nexus of NYIT professors from across our seven schools of and colleges who are participating uh, in this year's event, starting with Dean Pongrass. Another <laughs> round of applause to Christian. Uh, Professor Kevin Lagrander uh, from our English department. Kevin, not yet. Uh, Alexander Vasilev from our col uh, College of Medicine, Matthew Cornelius, Digital Arts, uh, Robert Michael Smith, Fine Arts, um, Randy Stout, College of Medicine, Alexander Lopez, Occupational Therapy, and John Misak, English Department again. Serving as a platform where tech is created, demonstrated, and debated is a crucial role that a modern 21st century polytechnic like NYIT must embrace. We are the home of doers, makers, innovators who are ready to reinvent the future. New York Tech is where 3D animation started and where Pixar and Disney uh, uh, were created. CEO Ed Catmull, Alville Ray Smith were all working seven day, 24 uh, seven in our graphic designs lab uh, uh, inventing uh, 3D animation. Our legacy is one of entrepreneurship and innovation. With programs like digital arts, computer science, engineering, architecture and design, business, medicine and health, what better place than New York Tech to mesh the art and technology? Just two days ago, we hosted one of Long Island's first ever conferences on artificial intelligence. Just as the New York City EDC, is someone from the EDC here this morning? Just as they announced uh, a new initiative on AI for good. And why should we do this? Why are we here today? Because we must not relent. China, as we know, is pouring $150 billion into AI. At Tech, we prepare the next generation, as our college students, uh, to be the leaders uh, of the future. Uh, pretty soon, we will be holding a hackathon for 250 high school students who will work around the clock uh, to figure out solutions in AI, robotics, and other technologies. Yeah. yeah, yes, thank you. And that's led by the uh, Long Island Teen Hacks. It's a group of high school students who are leading uh, this new wave. Uh, you'll find today's and tomorrow's programming topic it's very exciting. I mean, walking here, is, it was just amazing to just see the Android uh, portrait art, the animatronic, uh, animatronic child doll who was talking to me, uh, the invaders uh, games, the smile interactor, uh, just mind boggling. Uh, this uh, human robot uh, relationship, uh, 3D bioprinting at, in the labs here, we're printing, uh, we're bioprinting ears, noses, you, you have it. And, and uh, a million applications in VR, AR, and everything tech. We don't need the World Economic Forum to tell us that we're in the midst of the fourth industrial revolution. We must lead it, women and men. And in order to make an impact, we must do so together. The private sector, academia, government, and not-for-profits. And that's what we invite you to do today. Let's lead, disrupt, and make a difference. Thank you, and welcome again to NYIT.